straight ahead, a bantamweight tilt between Hennon Burrell and Johnny Eduardo. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He's able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. Barrow is 27, Eduardo is 42. He is one inch taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 28 wins, 12 losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Johnny Eduardo! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 36 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC bantamweight champion, Hannon! I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for They touch him up, and we are underway. <laughs> Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. He lands a switch feet. Oh, effective strike there by Johnny Eduardo. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Jones. Lunges forward with a left there. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there. Oh! What a fantastic strike. 
right to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Lands a nice one, too. Oh, straight right. All right, seeing the collar tie now. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. And Wardo gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh! That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. How about that shin? Eduardo's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Ooh, what a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt. Oh. Lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Hennen Barat. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, you better start doing something defensively. A lot of these knees are landing to the bottom. I mean, and it's going to drain you. You cannot stand there while someone has a clinch and is just driving knees into your body. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. knockout he turned in here tonight that is one they'll be talking about for some time ladies and gentlemen referee dan mergliante has called a stop to this contest at one minute eight seconds of round number two playing the winner by knockout Hannah. 